Welcome into Steelers Talk. I am your host, Jack Spear, and we got a great slate of Steelers news and rumors to cover on today's show. First up, we're going to be talking about three new Steelers trade rumors, three players that we haven't really discussed in trade rumors throughout this entire offseason that are being thrown around and connected to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Then we'll go over Joey Porter Jr., who said that he is the best cornerback in the entire game of football. We'll be breaking down whether or not there's any credence to that claim to the throne. And then also we'll go over the uh, Chris Sims' ranks at, uh, uh, for Pittsburgh's quarterback uh, moving at the end of today's show, talking about Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. And before we get into our news and rumors today, a big shout out to our Ravens and Seahawks host, Tyler Jones. Now, you know, Tyler is somebody that, you know, he's our co-worker and he's a good friend and all these different things. But you know what? I had to have a little bit of fun with him on Twitter today where I wished him a happy birthday. Uh, but I also gave him a friendly reminder that the Steelers have won seven of their last eight matchups against uh, the Ratbirds there in Baltimore. So big shout out to Tyler Jones uh, on his birthday. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to every single person that's watching this video that quote tweets my pinned tweet at Jack underscore Sperry uh, that we just showed on the show here. Uh, and everybody that does that and tags Tyler Jones uh, is going to get a shout out on Friday. So give Teacher a birthday shout out here, but also give him that reminder that the Steelers take the Ravens lunch money every single year. So let's get to our first story here and the first rumor, which is just completely crazy to me, guys. Bleach Report says the Steelers should consider trading Cam Hayward to the Chicago Bears. And this is what Alex Ballantyne, uh, the, the writer there at Bro uh, Bleach Report, had to say about this idea. Hayward has, no has noted that his absence is due to contract negotiations as he looks to cash in one more time before retirement becomes inevitable. If Hayward's holdout continues, the Bears should be calling Pittsburgh. And let me just tell you this right now, guys. There is no way the Pittsburgh Steelers trade Cam Hayward this offseason. I mean, come on now. They're trying to win Super Bowls now, Cam Hayward is still, when healthy, one of the best interior pass rushers in the game of football. And, you know, even from Chicago's perspective, you know, they're a young, up-and-coming football team. Do they really want to trade for a 35-year-old player that, yes, is good, but he's getting older? He's probably only going to be playing three more years. You have to pay him a new contract, by the way. I just, for neither side here, I just don't think it makes sense. Cam Hayward, they're going to get a deal done. It's going to be for the next three years here, and it's going to be for, I think, a pretty team-friendly rate because Cam Hayward understands that the clock is running out on his career. He wants to win championships. He wants to win at least one ring with his time here at the Pittsburgh Steelers, and then he wants to ride off into the sunset Indiana Jones style. I think they're going to be able to get something done, but let me know what you guys think. Down there in the comments section, would you trade Cam Hayward this offseason? Give me a yes or a no, and then let me me know your reasoning down there in the comment section for today's pinned comment. YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. And when that happens, take advantage of that time by letting me know if you would trade Cam Hayward this offseason. Now, the next trade rumor on the slate today is that the same writer here, Alex Ballantyne from Bleach Report, says that the Steelers should pursue Buccaneers edge rusher and former first round pick Joe Tryon Troyunka. I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. And this is what Ballantyne had to say about going out and getting yet another edge rusher to add to the Steelers' ranks. The Bucks spent the 32nd overall selection on Tryon Shryonka back in 2021. He, he's made 34 starts and played in every regular season game since then, but his production has been underwhelming. The Steelers don't necessarily have a replacement for what Marcus Golden gave them last season. And now listen, guys, I do think that Pittsburgh does want to add another edge rusher. At least they should want to add another edge rusher to this room because, yes, your starters are completely taken care of right now. You got T.J. Watt and Alex Highsmith. Those guys are star players. In T.J. Watt's case, he's a superstar. Then you, get Nate, then you still have Nick Herbig, who's a really good rotational pass rusher on the outside. But, you know, you know, Kyron Johnson, Jeremiah Moon, David Perales, you know, the, none of these guys, I think, are really able to be your fourth piece in the rotation here, like Marcus Golden was. Was last year and you know Joe Tryon is somebody that had a decent 2023 campaign he had five sacks 
in a full slate of, uh, of, of a fully healthy season. Last year in 2023, had a forced fumble, a couple tackles for loss, but he's never really been you know, uh, somebody that's lived up to that first round pick that the Buccaneers spent on him a few years back. Now, what I want the Pittsburgh Steelers to do, instead of trading like a sixth or a seventh round pick for Joe Tryon, for, to be your fourth edge rusher, just go out and bring back Marcus Golden. He was fantastic for you last year in relief of T.J. Watt when he ended up getting injured. He's a really good run defender. Uh, so listen, man, if T.J. Watt or Alex Highsmith, God forbid, gets hurt, you want somebody that can go in there that's a little bit bigger than, than Nick Herbig because Herbig is smaller. He's going to get bullied around in the run game if he's asked to be a starting edge rusher for the Pittsburgh Steelers, in my opinion. And Marcus Golden provides that insurance where if one of the top two guys goes down with injury, you have a guy in Marcus Golden who's really good as a run defender on the outside that can set those edges and not get bullied and you know maintain his gap and all these things that you need to be a sound run defense in the National Football League. So if I'm the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm I'm spending like one one point two one million dollars, you know, the vet minimum on a guy like Marcus Golden who had a pretty darn good season for this team last year. Then the final trade rumor that we'll talk about today, should we trade for James Bradbury from the Philadelphia Eagles? Uh, Chris Barb uh, from Steelers Now suggests Pittsburgh should pursue cornerback James Bradbury. And, you know, you know, this one's a little bit interesting to me, but this is what Barb had to say about this one. The Steelers lack veteran depth at the cornerback position, so they could go out and trade for James Bradbury to either split time with, De with Dante Jackson or be a backup for the outside cornerback position. And honestly, guys, I don't love this fit between Bradbury's skill set as kind of more of like a zone corner, whereas the Steelers, they want to play smash mouth level football on the defensive side of the ball. They want to play press. They want to play lots of man, especially on third downs. And yeah, they'll play cover three and they'll play cover two and they'll play quarters and all these different things but you know they really want to be physical and they want guys on the outside that have long arms that are super physical like Joey Porter Jr. for example and James Bradbury doesn't really fit that description and then not only that but you know last year he had a big dip in production he didn't have as good of a season in 2023 as he did for that Super Bowl run in Philly there in 2022. And then, you know, he's been kind of on and off throughout his career. He's never really been like a top-tier elite-level corner, but he's never really been like a super terrible corner either. The first time he dipped below 60 in the pro football focus grading scale just last year, but he is getting older. He is starting to dip in his production, and he did have his worst season of his career, so I'm not sure if I'm willing to trade anything to Philly to bring him into Pittsburgh. So coming up next on the show, I'm going to discuss whether or not Joey Porter Jr. is not only the best cornerback on the Steelers, but the best corner, period, in the game of football today. He certainly thinks so. I'll let you know my take here in just a second, but before we get into that, it's summertime, folks, and if you want an awesome, stylish, short sleeve. Uh, Steelers t-shirt to rock at your summer barbecues when you go to training camp when that eventually comes around the corner here you can go to chatsports.com slash throwback right now to get this awesome and stylish and affordable Steelers t-shirt which I really like the design guys that's why I chose this one to be our promotion today uh, you know it's got that simple yet you know classic old school Steelers logo on there it's classic black so you don't really mess around with all these different colors and designs you just represent your team it's nice and simple just like the city of Pittsburgh. Go to chatsports.com slash throwback today. If you use that link, Fanatics will send us a, uh, a, a portion of the proceeds. So we really do appreciate all of your support. So if you want to support the channel and you want an awesome and stylish new Steelers t-shirt in your closet today, all you got to do is go to chatsports.com slash throwback. All right, so now let's talk about Joey Porter Jr. Because, I mean, I love JPJ's game. I love the fact that this is a bloodline thing with Joey Porter being an all-time great Steelers defender. And then his son comes in his rookie season, and he absolutely balls out. And he establishes himself as the future number one cornerback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. But he doesn't just have his sights on CB1 here with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He has his sights on CB1 in the world. This is what Joey Porter Jr. has to say about his rookie season. And when he was asked, who's the best cornerback in the world right now? He says, me for sure. Nobody was doing what I was doing against number one wide receivers the entire year and locking them down. I don't care if I am mentioned in there or not because they are going to hear my name eventually. And I absolutely love that Joey Porter Jr. has this mentality. I mean, all the great corners 
to ever play in the NFL have this mentality that they are the best and nobody can get past them no matter who they are. And I absolutely love that confidence. But just based on his numbers last year, I'm not sure if we can say definitively that he is the best corner in the world right now. He had a very impressive season last year, don't get me wrong. 10 pass breakups, less than a 50% completion percentage when his receiver was targeted. Uh, He had that big interception against Lamar Jackson uh, in the Ravens game at home last year. Uh, you know, he had a tackle for loss even. So this is somebody that I think, you know, with his long arms, with his physicality, he's absolutely a legit number one lockdown corner in the in the world. Uh, but he's not the best in the world right now, in my opinion. There's other guys like Sauce Gardner and, you know, all these different types of corners around the National Football League that I do think have a step over Joey Porter Jr. But Joey has all the physical capabilities and the talent to eventually get there. And who knows? He might might even establish himself as the best corner in football this season. I love the way that this kid plays the game. I think he's going to be a legit uh, number one corner in this league for the next decade in black and gold, and I can't wait to see it unfold. But as for him being the best cornerback in the world at, right, have, as of right now, I'd probably have to say no to that. But let me know down there in the comments section, is JPJ the best corner in the world right now? Give me a yes or a no down there in the comment section to let me know how you feel about the Steelers' number one corner. Now, before I go, uh, it was fun while it lasted, guys. Uh, You know, I certainly had my fun speculating what they were going to do with Justin Fields, specifically in the kickoff game. But Fields did confirm this week that he will not be returning kicks this season. He's going to be, you know, playing quarterback. And that's where probably his focus should be, okay? You know, this is somebody that's trying to develop his talents as a quarterback. And if he's spending time in special teams meetings and, you know, going through special teams portions of practice as a kick returner, it's not going to allow him to really be the best that he can be as a quarterback and really focus in on preparing himself to be this year's backup quarterback to Russell Wilson. So I do think it was a fun idea because he is, you know, big and strong and, you know, he could do some very interesting things with the new kickoff rules this year with a guy that can throw the football like Fields. But, you know, as fun as it is to think about, it probably wasn't the most practical idea uh, in practice here. So I do think uh, that him sticking to quarterback is probably the right idea decision. Now, for more content, uh, you can follow me on X at Jack underscore Sperry. I'm posting OTA clips all throughout this week uh, of, you know, latest updates. If they make a big move, I'm going to give my initial thoughts there instead of on this channel. Uh, and then we got uh, at SparrowDog.Football on IG. If you want just more NFL content from me on social media, you guys can click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Can't wait to talk to you guys next time, uh, you know, and get some more Steelers content out to you guys. So make sure you click that subscribe button and join the over 53,000 Yinzers already subscribed to Steelers Talk.